Both wrestlers are now down on the mat. Great Tojo and Spiros are on. Eddie Swan, the referee, is counting. Tojo's the first one to get up. He gets behind a Rion. Oh, and he's got that Japanese rack. There's a hit of hole. This is beyond human endurance. A real punishing hole it is. The Japanese rack. And he tags his partner, Baldo Von Eric. Oh, it's a heavy hole, this one. The Japanese rack. A Rion goes right down. Apparently, it was not a tag. As Tojo goes in, a succession of blows to the head. Another tag. This time, we find Waldo Von Erich coming into the ring now. He's got hold of Arion. He goes ahead with the further punishment. A couple of blows with the glove. Spirit, Eddie Swan speaking, speaking to, uh, he appears to be uh, loading his glove somewhat. Eddie Swan checking it. Arion barely standing up, but he's on his feet as Waldo Von Eric comes in with that glove. Arion, how much more punishment can he take as Waldo Von Eric continues on with the punishment? Arion's still on his feet, but how long can he stay on his feet as Waldo Von Eric comes in strong on him again? A tremendous amount of punishment has. The Golden Greek Spiros Arion taken in this passage of wrestling. Stumps there by Waldo Von Erich. And look at Mark Lowell appealing, appealing for Spiros Arion to get close to the hand for the tag. Can he make it? I don't know whether Spiros Arion can make the tag. Arion, can he make it? Lewin trying to get close, but Waldo Von Erich is keeping him away with further blows to the head. Arion goes to the ropes for a breather. As uh, Waldo Von Eric. Oh! Big bad John interferes from outside. A bit more punishment. And now Arion might have the opportunity. The fans going wild here at Festival Hall. They really are going wild. And Lauren gets the tag. Lauren gets the tag. And boy, is he going. He's been waiting for this opportunity. As he goes in with about three or four blows to the head. Rolls him over. A beautiful drop kick. A drop kick. Down goes Waldo Von Eric. Moves in for the pin. Ah! Oh, only the count of two. Only the count of two interference there. So what happens? We find that Mark Lowen goes in. Oh! And his one was caught between Waldo Von Eric and Big Bad Johnny goes down. Can he get up? Mark Lowen comes in for the sleeper. Mark Lowen in on the sleeper hold now. He's coming right in on this sleeper, but oh, no! No, he had the wreck has been put on. The wreck by the great Tojo, and we find Big Bad John coming in to add to it, and Waldo Von Eric is there. Mark Lewin caught up in between the three of them at the moment when it looked like he had the opportunity with that sleeper hold. Oh, my goodness. That, in, that Japanese wreck is well applied now. As Waldo Von Eric doubles up the footage, but a Rion, not to be denied, comes back. Oh, there's intensity in a Rion. You can see it right across his face. You really can. Oh, he goes at Big Bad John, but there goes. Oh, look at these tactics by Great Kojo. These tactics are something that are really uh, despicable. They really are. We find now punishment from all corners as a chair goes flying in the ring. Mark Lewin. He breaks the chair. The fans are standing up on the chairs. They're standing up on the floor. They're screaming. No one goes in hard. And no one goes in hard. He gives them the treatment. He really gives them the treatment. He's going in with those chairs. Banging in hard. Coming in hard. He says, yes, the fans are screaming. They give it to you. Why don't you give it to them? And that's exactly what Mark Lowen is doing as he comes in with a broken chair. Eddie Swan is still down. He's been down for the last minute and a half or so. He's getting up somewhat dazed. He's looking around past Spiros Orion and Mark Lowen saying, come back, we want to continue with the match. And what's happened? Oh, he stumbled over again. What's happened? He's calling to the timekeeper. He's just... He's disqualified Mark Lewin and Spiros Arion on the disqualification. But I'm sure the wrestling fans 
here at Festival Hall tonight will agree that this feud will not go unanswered. Mark Lewin has got hold of the microphone. go down in the history books as a disqualification but the fans certainly have indicated here that they're right behind Mark Lewin and Spiros Arion following this match after what you have just seen here tonight. We're speaking to you from Festival Hall in the big tag team match of the year between Waldo von Eric and Mr. Paul DeMarco against the Golden Greek Spiro Sarian and Mario Milano. Paul DeMarco lost the first fall and lost his North American Championship belt to the Golden Greek Spiro Sarian. This is the second in this two falls out of three match. Spiro Sarian and Milano winning the first fall and of course DeMarco losing his championship belt to the Golden Greek Spiro Sarian. There's a tag. In comes the Golden Greek, and DeMarco is back pedaling away from him as Spiros pours it on. The Golden Greek Spiros are in, an elbow smashed to the heart. Got a side headlock, he whips him into the ropes. Von Eric is on the top of the apron in the ring, and he has his whip in his hand illegally. He smacks Mario Milano in the throat with the whip. Milano falls on the floor outside the ring and the bell rings and it is a disqualification for the use of the hook and the winner in two straight balls. The Golden League spirits are in and Mario Milano. Son Eric knocks down Maury West. He's attacking spirits are in with the whip. He's really pulling it on. Eddie Swan trying to separate him. And Waldo Von Eric is on the prowl. I wouldn't like to get in there when he's in a savage attacking mood. He's cut open the head of the Golden Greek Spirits are in and pulling it on after knocking Eddie Swan out of the ring. Eddie Swan has actually went out to see Maury West is all right. And the blood is streaming down the face, even though Mario Milano and Spiro Sarian have won the match against DeMarco and Don Eric. You can see the vicious German attack with the whip on the Golden Greek Spiro Sarian and every fan at Festival Hall on their feet as this vicious attack continues. Mario Milano is coming up. He's the attack by the whip. And now, uh, Waldo Von Eric, having accomplished his purpose with a very vicious, illegal attack and cutting Spiros Arian wide open around the head, 
like a rat, leaving a sinking ship, leaves the ring. But don't you forget it, Spiros Arian now holds both belts, the North American Championship and the Australian Heavyweight Championship. And the winner of the match, Harley Milano and Spiros Arian.
is a tag team match at Festival Hall. And right from the opening bell, this hasn't been a tag match. This has been a tag team brawl, a real waterfront fight. Right from the word go, oh, a human catapult cracking their heads together and down goes the Japanese, the great Tojo and Waldo Fineri, the blood streaming down their face. Miro Sarian has had his head cut open and oh man alive, here goes another one. But this time the Jap and Waldo out thought Spiros and Mark Lewin and they catapulted into each other. And now it is Big Bad John, he says, oh, Mark Lewin, oh, that's absolutely atrocious. I've never seen anything as bad as that. They're hurling him into the steel helmet worn by Big Bad John. And now you can see Tojo putting the boots in. You can see now Waldo von Erich over there. He's loading his glove. He's got his glove loaded. He hammers Mark Lewin. The blood is streaming down his face. Every one of them has been cut wide open in this bruising brawl at Festival Hall. And Bill Sarian has the attention of the referee, but he comes in, gets Waldo von Erich out of the way. In comes the great Tojo. All four men in the ring. Lewin is still on the mat. Spiros is protecting him. And now here comes Big Bad John into the ring. Remember, this is no disqualification. And when he goes, and here's Maya Milano. The crowd's going wild. Milano was in there trying to protect him. Eddie Swan and Mario Milano is looking at Mark Lewin, and they're asking, Mario Milano is telling him over there, he's asked for a stretcher. This, a stretcher has been called for from Mark Lewin. I have never seen Lewin in this state, and all the time I've been watching World Championship Wrestling, Eddie Swan has called for the stretcher. Mario Milano has come in there, gone out to get the stretcher, Big Bad John, and Tojo's coming around, but you can see Milano and Spiros are in, and Eddie Swan all trying to protect Mark Lewin from Big Bad John, the great Tojo and Waldo Thornary. Here's the stretcher now, and that was fast action by the attendants at Festival Hall. Mark Lewin is being put up on the stretcher by Eddie Swan, and now the attendants are going to take on the ring. They've got Spiros over there. Big Bad John is putting the boots in. Knocks Mark Lewin out of the stretcher under the floor. Eddie Swan has his leg caught in the rope. Mario Milano gets the full attack of the stretcher right in the midsection. And now he comes in power and pile drives it in again. Out, uh, outside the ring, it is Big Bad John. And Mario Milano is hurled into the post. And now look at Spiros Arena in the center of the ring. This is a one-man effort all out against Waldo Von Erich. And there's the atomic drop. Kojo comes in. The atomic drop again. A one-man army. The Golden Bridge Spiros Arena. Big Bad John's outside the ring being chased by Mario Milano. Spiros Arena putting the boots in. And now he hammers into Waldo Von Erich. He hammers him again. He's got a full Nelson on Waldo Von Erich. He slams his head into the turnbuckle. He slams him again. And here he comes again. Oh! Did you see that kick right in the groin? I, I can't describe such an act by Waldo Von Erich. He's loaded his glove again. He's got the glove loaded. Eddie Swan is trying to tell him but there's no disqualification and the brawl goes on. The loaded glove being pounded into the head of the Golden Greek Spiro Serene. Tojo's over at the side. He, Waldo says, get up, get up, get up. Let's give him some more punishment. Big Bad John and Mario Milano are still fighting out in the crowd. They have fought out there and
Bill Sullivan now has two against one. I don't know how he did it, but here comes Mark Rowan back again, and he's pouring it on. Look at him go. Nobody throws a punch like Rowan. You would have never thought he could ever come back again. But he's on the prowl, and so is Spiros Arin. Tojo goes outside the ring. Lewin is after Tojo. But Waldo Von Erich is outside the ring, and they're trading blows outside. Eddie Swan is giving him a count. They're fighting out into the crowd. And now, uh, Mario Milano and Big Bad John have gone out, and you can see Mark Lewin and the great Tojo, Waldo Von Erich, and, of course, all of the wrestlers, the referee, Ray waves his hands, the match is over, but the fight and the brawl go on. They're fighting out in the audience, and it looks like they're fighting out into the street, and the, you can see the fans, thousands of them going outside to see the fight, which is still going on outside of Festival Hall. That's all we can do now. Our cameras can't cover anymore, and I want to see it myself. Seven thousand fans at Festival Hall have already seen 55 grueling minutes of the most exciting and the most vicious tag team match I have ever seen with the ring surrounded by steel wire. Mark Lewin and the Golden Greek Spiros are in. have tried everything in the book to try to put finish to the career of Walter Von Erich and the great Tojo. 25 minutes into the match, it was Spiros are in who was pinned for the count of three, and the bell rang. Eddie Swan raised the German in the Jap's hand, but Mark Lewin called the referee's attention to the fact that Spurs' leg was outside the ring, and the referee ordered the match continue. Then another five minutes went by, and four men in the ring were fighting. Eddie Swan stopped the match. Fine each wrestler $100. They continued fighting, all four of the men in the ring at the same time. And in order to keep control, he had to find them another $100, $100 a man to keep control of the match. And what a job. This is like the gladiators of old. Every one of the wrestlers has spilled his blood, and first one team and then the other has been on top. Mark Ruin has had the sleeper hold, not only on the Japanese, but on the German. The Japanese have had the rack on both Spiro Sarian and Mark Lewin. The German with that loaded fist has pounded the heads of Lewin and Arian. And now as you see Spiro Sarian, he's got him one. But on the for the count of one, Walter Von Erich illegally interfered. Now Lewin comes in, and now they've got him up. Tandem taxi, he's got him pinned. There he is down, one. But Waldo Venery kicks him off, and it's all out war in that ring. I have never seen such a thrilling match in all my life, and such a dangerous match within the steel wire of the cage. There's the atomic drop, this could be it. He covered him in, one, two, but no. Japanese was too tough. Mark kept Waldo Von Erich away, but at the count of two, he tossed Spiros over. And now in comes Mark Lewin to take over where Spiros left off. He really got the Japanese Marion champion going to Waldo Von Erich. Come in, Eddie Swan's trying to stop it. Now all four men in the ring again. Spiros lets him have one in the bread basket. Mark's got the sleeper on, but a rabbit punch to the back of the neck breaks the sleeper. There's another sleeper. Two minutes to go on the match. And listen to the crowd. They're going wild. There's not a seat vacant at Festival Hall tonight. The most thrilling night of action any of them have ever seen. There's another Tony cop. Down goes the jab. Mark Lord had Waldo von Erich covered. I wouldn't be Eddie Swan for all the rice in China. He has had it 
tremendous job. They've done a great job. The sleeper hold on Waldorf on their eight, but a rabbit punch to the back of the neck. Spiros takes the Japanese out of the action. Mark Lone covers Wald one, two, but only the count of two, and knocks into the referee. Spiros throws him into the wire of the cage. Mark Lone goes up to come in on Wald one. A beautiful drop kick right to the head. Hit him right on the chin. One, two, but the Japanese kicked him off at the count of two. One minute to go. Oh, I've never seen anything like it in all of my life, in all my career as a commentator. It's a safer hold. Time's running out, and there's the rabbit punch by the Japanese. Spiro Sarian comes in to take over when Mark Finney's. They're trying to put Finney's to the German now. Oh, boy, he staggers. He's very close to this corner. Up in the air with the atomic drop over the knee. He's down there. He hasn't got the energy to raise his hand to tag his partner. And Spiros is pouring it on. He said, here's one for you, Tojo. Down he goes. Spiros covers him. One, two, but Walter Von Erich pushes him off. All four men and the referee in the ring at the same time. What a wrestling match. I've never seen anything like it. I've said it before, but I have never had so much excitement in an hour's match. And there it is. Yes, the match is over, but the battle isn't over. There's no question about it. Nothing has yet been settled. Mark was asking for five minutes more. Mark, I'm with you. The fans at Festival of Hall are with you. And so are all the fans at home. But it's against the rules of the National Wrestling Alliance. He asked for five more minutes. Eddie Swan knows better. He said it's impossible, and now he smacked Big Bad John. But there's no way possible that any time, extra time, can be given under the rules. He wants five more minutes, Mark. You can't blame them. They have fought their hearts out for you, the wrestling fans, to try to put finish to the jab in the German. What a night at Festival Hall. Making deal at Festival Hall with the Golden Greeks, Spiro Sarian against the vicious German Waldo von Erich. This has been a bruising, brawling, bone crushing match. And believe me, these two giants of the ring have really been pouring it on. And Spiro Sarian did exactly what he promised every one of you wrestling fans. He was going to spill Waldo von Erich's blood, and it is pouring down his face. He is cutting wide open, and the fans are egging him on. Pour it on, Spiros. Down goes Waldo Von Erich. He really let him have it. The fans are going wild. And a headbutt drops Waldo Von Erich to the canvas. And boy, have they got their money's worth because the Golden Greek has kept his promise. He has really filled the German's blood tonight at Festival Hall. And alive, he's pouring it on. The German's on the apron of the rings. Spirits are in with in the ring, but coming over towards the apron of the ring, outside on the apron now. He picks Waldo up. He's half in the ring, half out. Knocks him into the ring. Waldo Venere kicks Spiros outside the ring. And Spiros is up to his feet, though. He's coming in. Waldo Venere is doing something with his glove. I don't know what it was, but oh boy, there must be something in his glove because it really, that blow itself, unless there was something in that glove, would not have given 
first, the tremendous meeting you did at that time. One, two, three, there it is. And the winner of the match, Waldo von Erich, putting his hands up in the air, and he's going over now. He's saying to Eddie Swan, where's the bell? Where's the bell? What is he talking about? He wants a bell. Naturally, Eddie Swan knows better. He'll be going over now to Paul Jennings and telling him that it is a non-title bout. It was a non-title of title bout. The, the belt cannot change hands. Still the champion, the Golden Greek, Spiros Arian. And the fans are really going mad. Eddie Swan leaves the ring. And also leaving the ring, Waldo von Erich, a very angry German. We're speaking to you in this German death match, and believe me, Spiros Arian and Waldo von Erich, drop by drop, they've been setting blood with the barbed wire, coming into the ring illegally. Big bad John, he misses Spiros Arian. There's the atomic drop over him, but a vicious sneak attack by the Jap is met by Spiros, but the German viciously gets one leg and there's three men against one. Naturally, the bell is ringing. Three men against one. And it is, of course, a disqualification against Waldo von Erich. The referee has been knocked out of the way. He's knocked out of the way again by Big Bad John. The crowd, every man and the woman in the crowd are screaming at this vicious attack by the Jap, the German, and the big Tennessee. Kentucky and Hillbilly. Oh, a brutal. Who that? It's, oh, nobody can punch like Mark Lewin. It's Mark Lewin coming in. There's one, then the other. The German is getting the full force of the blows. He used to be a fight fighter. Oh, he's come out of nowhere. And the fans are going literally wild. But into the barbed wire, Spiros Arin and the vicious Jap and Big Bad John. Spiros Arin over the other side of the ring, the blood's flowing, flowing down his face. And they've torn the horn off the... Look at the Japanese rack being applied on Lewin. This is the Japanese hold that paralyzes the nerves at the side of the head. And here comes Spiros Arin. I didn't think he'd ever get up. And the crowd are really going wild. Look at that Spiros Arin. And look at, look at that Lewin go. Look at him hit. He's putting the boots in. And so is Spiros. Look at Big Bad John. He's got that and he throws some kind of powder in their eyes. They can't see. They're blinded. I have never seen anything like it in my life. Look at Mark Lewin. That something is really... Those eyes must hurt terribly. Big bad John interfered illegally. Then the jab. Three against one. Mark Lewin is still in agony and so are Spiros Arian. Well, I can tell you one thing. This means there must be a reprisal. There must be total war. We're speaking to you from Festival Hall and Spirits are in and the Golden Greek are out there. Walter von Erich has grabbed up a chair and smashed Spiros Arian over the head with it outside the ring. The referee is remonstrating with him. He bangs him again with the chair outside. He's giving him a count. He's telling him to get back in the ring. Walter von Erich got in after a terrific atomic drop by the Golden Greek that knocked him outside the ring. And when Spiros went out to follow up the attack, that's when he was viciously attacked 
by the vicious German Waldo von Erich. Spiro Serene, the golden Greek of Waldo von Erich, this has been a bruising, brawling match. You can feel the hate when these two men are in the ring. The German and the Greek champion, and he cut his head wide open. The blood is flowing with a cut over the head of the golden Greek Spiro Serene. And Waldo von Erich is in for the kill now, booting away, putting in the German boots on the Golden Greek Spiro Sarian, and his face is a mess. The blood trickles down over his forehead into his eyes. He smashes his head against the turnbuckle. He smashes him in again. Got a full Nelson on him, smacks him into the turnbuckle again, holding his head in there, but Spiro goes on. He went backwards, knocked Eddie Swan over. Eddie Swan is over. Spiro is the first one crawling over to the edge of the ropes. He's coming over there now. He's over at the at the ropes. Waldo von Erich is following him after with Spiros out on the apron of the ring. Waldo von Erich is coming in now, trying to get at Spiros. He's banging him in down. You can see the blood pouring down his face as Waldo von Erich comes in with a hard right to the jaw. And Waldo von Erich got his leg caught in the ropes. Spiros are in, is putting the boots in. He puts the boots in, he's really putting them in, getting his own back and one to go on when, and the crowd is going wild at Festival Hall as Spiros literally pulls it on. He brings him over. He comes in with a knee drop. He covers in. One, two, three. And Eddie Swan gives him the count of three. He didn't see that leg caught in the ropes, but the count of three, and that's it. There's no doubt about it. Eddie Swan getting up to his feet with an assist in the Golden Greek. He raises his hand, and the winner, the Golden Greek, Spiro Serian, still the Austro-Asian heavyweight wrestling champion. The German is protesting that his leg was caught in the ropes with the referee, Eddie Swan. He said he didn't see it, and he lets him have one. He knocks him down. He puts the boots in. He puts the boots in again. Absolutely uncalled for. There is a very angry German. You can't blame him for being mad because his leg was caught in the rope. You saw it. But I know one thing for sure. I'm happy. You're happy. And every fan at Festival Hall is happy, even though the German is very angry and very mad. Because the Golden Greek Spiro Syrian is still the Australian heavyweight wrestling champion. We're speaking to you from Festival Hall for the Australian Tag Team Championship with the Tojo Brothers from Japan defending their title against Australia's own Larry O'Day and Ron Miller. At the present time, there's a whip into the ropes and he catches him right to the throat with a chop. Ron Miller pushes him off. I thought that was the end for O'Day. He really caught him with a chop as he bounced off the ropes. He comes in now with a claw. But he hurt his head. He went in so hard with the cry. He went in on his own hand and hurt his own hand. And now Larry O'Day tags Ron Miller. Ron Miller's on the prowl. He lets one go. He drops the other one. Ron goes Hito Tojo. And now he's up with Tojo number one. Hero Tojo. Both Tojo taking a beating at the hands of Ron Miller with that beautiful leg drop. Pouring in the blows, elbow smash, rights to the midsection. There's a chop by Hito Tojo, but one to the breadbasket dropped in. There's a chop to the throat by Hito Tojo. Larry O'Day is coming in. He said, what are you talking about? He used a chop right to the throat. And now the Tojo brothers have got one another up in the air. It's Larry O'Day rather in the air. They cover him. One, but Larry O'Day kicks him off. 
Juan Marino, the referee, a remonstrating with him. And that gives the Tojo brothers a chance to give Ron Miller some double trouble. But Tony Marino forces the other Tojo over into the neutral corner. This time, there it is. He's down. One, two, three. Well, you saw it. Listen to the crowd go wild. There's one that backfired. And the Tojo brothers lose the match. Right in the center of the ring, you saw it. Australia's own, Royal Day, and Ron Miller have regained the Australian Tag Team Championship. What a great day for these two fine young wrestlers. And the crowd at Festival Hall have really gone wild with excitement because they love these two Australians and are proud that Larry and Ron have won the title for them. and the fans are going wild because the hate is really coming up from that ring. Mario Milano's on the prowl. He's trying to get even for his friend Tony Parisi, who Carson and the Tojo brothers ganged up on them and broke his nose and he had eight stitches taken in his eye. He's at ringside down there. Milano gives Carson a headbutt. A shoulder button now drops him down. He comes down, down with another one. He knocks Carson and Milano knocks the referee down. Maury West goes down. But it was an accident, of course. Milano didn't mean to. He goes over to see if Maury West is all right. And Carson comes in and with a knee drop right to the small of the back. He comes down now with a knee drop to the chest, right below the chin. Maury West is laid out, but it was an accident. It, it was not intentional. Oh, a neck breaker by Carson. Down he goes with a drop right down there. And now Carson's getting up onto the rope. Here comes Tony Parisi. Watch this. Parisi slams him down. He picks up Milano. He covers Carson. He gets out of the ring. Boy, West gets up to his feet. One, two, three. And you saw it, folks. Believe me, you saw it. That's exactly what happened. And the winner of the match goes to Mario Milano with, shall we say, a bit of assistance from his Italian paisano, Tony Parisi. Carson is going wild.
This is a six-man tag team war. And the great Tojo outside the ring has just slammed Spirosary and the Golden Greek's head into the post. After a series of chops, he threw him outside the ring and he has slammed him into the post twice. This is a six-man tag team war. Waldo Von Erich, Mark Lowe, and Mario Milano outside the ring. Waldo Von Erich throws Spirosary and back in. The two men legally supposed to be in the ring the great Tojo and the Golden Greek Spirosarian. Already in this war, Mark Lewin has had his head cut wide open and the great Tojo is really pouring it on the Golden Greek Spirosarian. Outside the ring, Waldo von Erich and Big Bad John. There, a flying there drops Spiros to the canvas. He's pounding, pouring in the blows with Spirosarian. He's got him now with a chin lock. Eddie Swan watching very closely. Mark Lewin trying to tag from the tagging position. Mario's in an illegal tagging position. Outside the ring, of course, he is Big Bad John and Waldo Von Erich. But illegally, Mark Lewin came in and it provided the desired effect that knocked Kojo off of the Golden Greek Spiro Serene. But he's had his head slammed into that Still falls twice and the blood is flowing as his head has been cut open. And now in comes a very wild Mark Lewin. And nobody throws those punches like Lewin. He, but look at Von Eric from outside the ring. They've got him into the ropes. He's tied up in the ropes and Waldo is pouring in the blows. The blood streaming down Mark Lewin's face. Tojo inside the ring. Now Spiros has gone wild. He is right really... He's knocked Tojo outside the ring. He follows him outside. Eddie Swan is telling Waldo, let's get it over. But now it is the Golden Greek Spirits are in slamming Tojo's head into the post. He slams his head into the other post. And as I told you, this isn't a tag team match. It's a tag team war. And the Jap's head has been cut open after those two headbutts into the post. And Spiros is pouring it on, blood streaming down their faces as this war continues. Eddie Swan almost hit. There it is, the atomic drop. But oh, it looks like, looks like Spiros has hurt his knee. I hope it isn't a reoccurrence of that old knee injury. He's down on the canvas. And now in comes the Jap, and he's got the rack. He's got the Japanese in the rack. An excruciating hold if you've ever seen one. This is where they paralyze the nerve centers of the brain. He slams it into Milano. Milano goes off into the apron and off onto the floor. The Jap comes back in again with the rack. And Big Bad John now is telling Eddie Swan everything's all right. That is to let the Jap put the punishing rack hold. I hope this doesn't cause any damage to the brain. And in comes Johnny Gray. And Ron Miller, Ron Miller's not done by Von Erich. He still can't get Tojo off. Here comes another wrestler, Johnny Grayson, Eddie Swan trying to get Tojo off. That excruciating pain. And you can see this is a battle royal now. But the jab is down. Spiro Serian is down. And Hans Schroeder, Big Bad John, Von Erich, and Bruno Becker is trying to tell Tojo to stay away. And of course, all of the others are over there with the Golden Greek Spiros Serian. Tojo wants to continue, but Big Bad John, Von Erich, Schroeder, and Becker are pulling him off. Ron Miller, Larry O'Day, Johnny Gray, Petros Kapitas in there with Mark Lohan, and Mario Milano looking over. The Golden Greek Sparrow Serian. Eddie Swan now is going over, taking a look at the head. He said, no, I, there's no doubt about it. He's going to tell the referee, the ring announcer, Paul Jennings, that Sparrow Serian and the great Tojo cannot continue. The match must go on without them. That will have to be the announcement. Perfectly so, but evidently.
exactly what was going to happen. The ring announcer, Paul Jennings, had made the announcement. But Eddie Swan, when he raised, crossed his hands and across, that meant that two of the men had to be out. Now the match does continue, and it's a four-man war now instead of a six-man war. Lewin and Don Airy, Milano and Big Bad John, they're trading punches, headbutts, they're using everything in the book. Mark, look at Waldo Von Erich here, put the boots in to Mark Lowen. Milano is in on the attack. He's got an abdominal stretch on Big Bad John. But Waldo Von Erich is free of Lewin for a moment, comes in with a rabbit punch to the back of the neck to break it up. He comes up, Milano puts the boots in, a headbutt on Big Bad John. Another headbutt, down goes Big Bad John. He covers it, one, two. The Waldo Von Erich is in in time to prevent a fall being taken. There's another abdominal stretch, but again, Waldo Von Erich illegally interferes. This match has been a battle royal right from the word go. A drop kick to Big Bad John. It was a beauty. He caught him chin high, a smash to the throat. He tags Waldo Von Erich. He kicks him down with a drop kick. He lets John have another one. He lets him have an uppercut that knocks him off in the apron off under the floor. A drop kick to Walter von Eric. He really hit him. And now Mark Lewin's on the prowl. Oh, what an uppercut. He covers him. One, two, and Waldo just barely got him off. I thought the match was over. Another drop kick to the chin by Mark Lewin. And, oh, a double stomp to the midsection. He covers him. Look at Big Bad John. He's got the leg of Mark Lewin over the rope, turned him over, and the three count is against Lewin and Milano. No doubt about it. And Eddie Swan raises the hand. The winner is Juan Eric, Kojo, and Big Bad John. Eddie Swan couldn't see it. Mark Lewin goes wild. Eddie Swan goes down. And now Lewin is chasing Big Bad John with a chair. Big Bad John's running for cover. Milano's got Waldo Von Erich. Lewin lets him have it with a chair. And I'd say this, they may have lost the match. The referee, Eddie Swan, couldn't see that leg outside the ring. But one thing for certain, Mark Lewin and Mario Milano did not lose the battle.